Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Pisces. Pisces, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Pisces for their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Pisces, please, for their highest and greatest good. Okay, Ten of Cups in reverse. Your person's energy, Five of Cups in reverse. They're viewing you as their Empress, Taurus and Libra in energy. Wow. What you don't see, Three of Pentacles in reverse and the two of swords all right you're going to get clarity here and communication from this person and we see the six of swords here in reverse this is someone who's coming back around most likely you're in separation from this person they're they're unhappy they're i think you're going to get unexpected communication for some of you they may have been with somebody else okay that's over so it feels like it may be a connection that was maybe sometime off in the distance, but it feels like, it feels like there was some sort of third party and that that's over. That's what I'm getting. But let's see. Ten of cups in reverse tells me you two are in separation. This person sees you as a soulmate. And the queen of swords. Yeah. This person's seeing clearly. They want to cut through any confusion. They want to communicate. They know what they want. And it's like they're moving right in your direction there with the Queen of Swords. And yeah, you can expect an offer from this person. Something stable, something solid, something secure. Something real, something tangible. This person wants, wants to create something real with you here. Five of Cups in reverse. Wow. Could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This person may be manifesting you. They absolutely still hold a torch for you. They're going to come in fiery and passionate. Um, they're going to come in quickly. We've got Pisces Cancer energy with the High Priestess in reverse. Yeah, for some of you, this person you haven't heard from or seen them in quite some time. Or maybe it's even just been a couple of days or a couple of weeks. They are going to show back up. And they're going to come in quickly. They're going to come in confidently. Some of you, they might be bringing you a gift. But they are going to be coming in with like very clear communication. All right. So it's like you're going to, you're going to know how this person feels about you. What they're looking for. Now, Empress Energy, Taurus and Libra. And the Five of Swords. Yeah. So, Pisces, this person may see you as a little bit detached. They also know that coming towards you might not be super easy. You might have walls and barriers up. Now, they are seeing you as a divine counterpart. They see you as someone who holds yourself in high regard. And you will cut them down if you if they don't come, come at you in the correct way. But this person wants victory. This person wants to come together with you. And I'm getting, for some of you, it may be someone who you haven't, seen or heard from in six months um you haven't been dealing with in five or six months or longer um but they see you as the best of the best they want victory here and with the three of pentacles in reverse for a lot of you if they were with somebody else i feel like that didn't work out like it i'm just getting it's the end of a third party situation yeah this person's coming in to make it up to you they're coming in to ask you out on a date. Um, they're coming in to, for some of you, they might be giving you a gift, whatever that might be. Just a token of like how they're feeling. We do get a lot of sixes coming in, six, six, six. So somebody could have a life path number six um, or, you know, be born on the six. The number six might just be appearing to you as synchronicities, whether that's online or that's, you know, on license plates um invoices receipts things like that two of swords moon and libra energy this person has made the decision that they want to talk to you they're coming in and they want to tell you the truth they might tell you the truth about a third party 
Okay, that maybe some of you need to hear. All right, tell me about this Two of Swords in the outcome position. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. See, this is Venus and Virgo energy. Kind of feels like the Virgo reading, but with different cards. So if you have Virgo in your chart or you're dealing with one or you're just drawn to that reading, go ahead and check that out. But the Nine of Pentacles tells me this person is coming in to communicate. They see you as this Empress energy. Someone who has it all, has everything that they're looking for. They love the way you carry yourself. They love the way you dress. They love what, you know, they love that you're like independent, self-sufficient, successful. And the Ace of Swords energy in reverse and the Six of Swords in reverse. See, I think you both want to come back around to one another, but you need the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And I feel like my Pisces, you're holding yourself in high regard here. Um, this person, Pisces energy right here, they have you on their mind all the time. You two may mirror each other in a lot of ways. And just pay attention. We've got four sixes coming out in this reading so far. I also feel, you know, Pisces, you're not the one that needs to, I mean, feel free to act or do whatever it is that you want to do. But with the Ace of Swords here in reverse, um, you do need the truth here. And I feel like more than anything, this is advice for you because Double Two of Swords in reverse tells me they've already made the decision to come in and tell you the truth about how they feel, what went down, give you the clarity that you need. But I feel like actually this is more advice for my Pisces to make sure that you unblock your throat chakra. Make sure you say what you need to say. Um your intentions, um, how you feel, what you want, what you need. And that might be hard because we do get, you know, double six of swords in reverse and the five of swords showing up. So the five of swords is like change and conflict. It might not be easy. There might be some tough conversations, um, but it's like they need to be had, um, whether that's for healing and closure or that's reconciliation. This person says, I still have feelings for you. I hid who I really am. So they know they need to come in and show show you who they are, what they feel. And yeah, they've got you on their mind, Pisces, right? Wondering how you're feeling. See, they're nervous to contact you because they know that there's going to be conflict. They know that there's going to be difficulties. It's not going to be a walk in the park to just like, you know, traipse back into your life here. Um, all right, let's see. Clear messages and guidance. Okay, married, responsible, and emotionally guarded, okay, and motivated. Yeah, so what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is this person is motivated to come towards you because they are seeing you as the person that they want long-term with. They are coming in in a responsible energy, and they may have been really emotionally guarded. They still might be because I do feel that they know it's a good chance that you might reject them here. And they're also probably emotionally guarded here because they need to tell you a, a truth that may not be super easy for them. Um, because we see that here. There's some fear-based energy at work. But I do feel that they're motivated to do that and to reach out. All right, let's see. Yeah, this person's coming back around. Reconciliation energy very soon. Okay. So spirit's giving us a timeline. So clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So I do feel the decision is going to be up to you. And some of you, you're going to, you know, block this person and keep moving in, in the direction you're moving. Um, but it's really going to be up to you and yeah, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I do think this person's coming in with that romantic gesture, but I also feel Pisces. It's really important with the ace of swords in reverse that you are very clear about how you feel and it's about having those tough conversations so that you can either get closure say what you need to say and move forward or come together and be on the same page a lot of you there may be a passionate renewal or reunion here between you and this person all right let's see clear messages and guidance for my pisces please Oh, they're telling me to shuffle these again. So just one moment. Oh, 
old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. So more so than anything, I just feel like this person wants to heal this connection. Um, I feel like at least hearing this person out, Pisces, is going to be very healing for the both of you. So this connection is passionate but not enduring. So some of my Pisces, you are going to, you know, you might move off in a different direction. It could also be how the situation, how the relationship was treated initially. And you may have taken all of your strength and courage to move in a different direction because you didn't see any sort of long term. And everything happens for a reason. And for a lot of you, um, you know, there was a breakup. There's been a separation that really gave this person clarity about how they feel about you, what they want um, in a partner. Because I get that this person compares others to you. But we do see don't dismiss the red flags. And see, that's what's really important. It's not about sweeping the red flags under the carpet and being okay with everything. It's about having those tough conversations. Look, this, this hurt me, or this is unacceptable, um, or this is what I really want out of a partner, out of a relationship. And, you know, I do feel that there's, there's potential for something really powerful and healing here, my dear Pisces, but it's going to take a little work. It's going to be a little bit of a struggle, but you know, I feel like that's the nature of most relationships. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Please make the best decisions for you and yours. And, um, if these messages do resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading, or if you like the cards I'm using, or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, love and light my Pisces. Take care.